Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, I will be showing you how to remove the third stage valve head from Alcon W31 Mariner air compressor. We will remove the valve, inspect the discharge and intake valves, clean them up and put it back together. So I'm going to need some tools. I need a 19 millimeter, 14 and 13 millimeter wrench. I need two Allen keys, number four and number six. First thing I need to do is using a 19 millimeter wrench, I need to remove this tubing going from third stage to water separator. Next is using a 14 millimeter and I remove this tubing for cooling. Now I can remove the valve head. So there are six bolts here needs to be removed. So one by one. I need to remove them. It's better to do it one across from another. Now I have my valve in my hand. I'm removing, removing the top part. And this is my actual valve I'll be inspecting. The valve has uh, one intake, which is suction valve, and one discharge valve. And using uh, some air, I will be cleaning the valve. I'm seeing an out print on this side, and this side says in. When I spray air from in, I should see that air is coming out from intake valve. This is what I need to see. So, spraying some air. I make sure I clean my valve. Now I'm going to do the same thing for discharge. If I spray air from the outside, I should not get any air coming from intake. The air should be coming out from the hole next to the intake. You want to continue investigating the valves and clean them one by one next thing you need to do is removing the valves completely so first I'm going to remove my discharge valve flathead screwdriver I'm just pushing the valve up I have my valve there's the valve plate and spring inside using a sharp object I'm just testing my spring and I'm just seeing that if my valve plate inside is closing properly you can look through the small holes next to next to the on the side of the valve seems like my valve is good it's closing properly it's not stuck and now we're gonna move to the suction valve to do this, we need a valve key. This valve key is specific for Alcan valves. So you need to get one from the Alcan compressors. They're not expensive, but this way they are really good to have it. So I place these pins right on the holes in the intake and using a wrench and you have to push the valve down so it's not gonna it's not gonna move just try 
start turning it. So I will just screw it out itself. Now I remove my valve. So I'm gonna be doing the same thing using a sharp object. Just make sure that valve is closing properly. Spring inside is working as it's supposed to. And seems like my valve is working pretty good. And I'm gonna clean it. Okay, my valve is in. Now I installed my valve, intake valve, using a nail. I'm going. I'm gonna be locking the valve in, so it's not gonna come out itself. So I just tap next to it. It puts some pressure to the valve, and it locks it in. So I have my discharge valve. I'm gonna put it back now. It's clean. Just push it in and it's done. Now we can install this valve back on the compressor. The discharge valve sits on the hole on the cover. Before you install the valve, one thing you gotta make sure is get some oil loop or Vaseline and put it on the o-ring on the cylinder so that way we're not gonna cut the o-ring when we install the valve now I just need to insert the bolts one by one when you do this make sure you do one across from another so you give it the same tension now all the bolts are in and I'm just gonna make sure they're all tight when I do this I do one across from another Next is the, 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 there's a pin underneath this cap, pushes the valve in. I just wanna make sure that it's tight. So using a 13 millimeter, I remove the cap. Then with a four millimeter Allen key, I just need to make sure that it's tight. Now I can put the cap back on. And install my tubes.
it's done. Now you can run the compressor and test if everything is working properly, if your compressor is building up the pressure. And if the torch stage is all good, all good and working now, it should go to the final pressure, which is 4,500 PSI or whatever the final pressure you are running the compressor. And you should not get any air coming out of from the, the safety valve, second stage safety valve behind the water separator. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, have a nice day.